Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Jess with Jess's Magical Memoirs and today I have a monthly plan with me for the month of December of this year. So if you want to see how we're planning for December, stick around because that's coming up right now. Okay, Planny fam, like I said in this video, I'm going to be planning for the month of December and I can't believe it's the end of 2023. Where did the freaking year go but I am just going to get into this video I am going to let you know that there are a couple of things that aren't in this that I do need to schedule um Skylar has another concert at some point during this month so I need to put that in and I also have a couple of things I'm trying to plan like fun activities for us as a family so I need to figure out where that is going in as well um Skyla's birthday is on Sunday and we're doing like a birthday thing for her that following weekend so that hasn't been notated yet so there's a lot of sticky notes actually missing that um you guys will see me add as like I go through this I'm probably not going to add more sticky notes what I'll do is I'll just add boxes you guys are going to see me do that I am going to pull these pages out of the planner and then we'll get started okay so as you can see right here this is the sticker hold on let me move some of this stuff out of the way this is the sticker kit that I'm going to be using for this spread this is from the retro holiday uh, sticker book by live love posh and it's just these really fun like teals and pinks and a little bit of green in there and it's these two pages and then these two pages so lots of fun really cute there is a, another sticker spread by live love posh that is in the chic winter sticker book uh, but i'm actually saving that for christmas day i mean for like the christmas week so that is going to be coming soon that one is more like vintagey old school classic christmas uh, but these are the washi tapes I'm going to be using for this spread. This is just a Simply Gilded like pink and red peppermint striped washi. And it has like pink foil. And then this one is from, oh my goodness, Plan Anything or Plan Anything. I can never say it right. Uh, this is from an old kit that I ordered from her a couple years ago. And it's just blue with like snow and snowmen and candy canes it's just the colors go really well with this with the stickers so those are the two washi tapes I'm going to use not sure how I'm going to do it yet I'll figure it out as I'm going and then I just have to pick out some marker highlighters to go with the spread I think I'm probably going to go with like I'm probably going to do teal and pink either that or I might do green and pink because those are the boxes that I'm going to use I'll show you what they look like this is the chic winter sticker book um, but these are the pink and green that I'm going to use. This sticker kit actually does have like green green in it. It's over here, the little leaves. So, and then I felt like that pink went pretty good with it. So I am going to use those for the boxes. So I actually might incorporate those colors for the boxes, or maybe I'll do like green and teal, which could be a really interesting color palette. I have to figure it out. Um, but those are the boxes we're going to use for this spread. So like I said, uh, there are a few things that I want to do with the kiddos for December. You know, trying to be that mom and everything. Um, the Newport Mansions, they do a Christmas decoration type overlay. I believe at the breakers I'm not sure if they do it at another one um, but that is something I really really want to do with the kiddos and another thing we thought about doing was driving up to Portsmouth New Hampshire to see like the town all decked out for Christmas and do Christmas shopping that is there's no way that's going to happen this month it's just impossible to accomplish that so I'm going to push that on the back burner maybe we can we can attempt to do that in 2024 there's also a La Salette which is like a free lighting thing that is in Attleboro that I thought about going to that does get extremely busy and crazy so 
I'm not 100% sure if we're going to do that, but that is something I thought about doing. And then Mystic Aquarium is actually doing like a really fun Christmas thing. And that's something that we don't necessarily have to do with the big kids. We could just do it with the twins. So that's another thing that we're uh, thinking about looking into as well. Yeah. So those are just a few things. Uh, also like with hand in hand with the aquarium to Mystic Village, they like have lights all over the place and it's just really fun to like be there during the during the light up display it gets very cold we did do it last year though so I'm trying to do a couple of new things and be realistic that we're not gonna be able to accomplish all the things I wanted to accomplish so so uh yeah <laughs> Okay, so I finally decided on these two colors, this like deep teal by Tombow and then this like pure Christmas green from Crayola. Um, they are very like greens, both green and green, um, but I'm hoping that the red and the pink in the washi and the red and the pink hues, like the maroon and pinks in the stickers will offset, offset it because there is a lot of pink and I don't wanna go too heavy on the pinks. So I'm hoping my decision with those will suffice. This is where it gets complicated because for the Newport Mansions, it's actually, so Skylar's at her dad's this coming weekend and then she's at her dad's on the 16th, which kind of stinks. He gets her on like the offset weekends. Um, and I really don't want to go to any crazy event on Christmas Eve weekend. So Christmas Eve is on a Sunday. That Saturday prior is probably going to be insane for any type of Christmassy event. That makes me nervous. And I feel like the mansions will probably be insane if we wait to do it then. I'm almost wondering if we should do it on the 10th. Skylar is having, we're having her party on the 9th. And she's having a couple of friends sleep over. I could have them get picked up in the morning and then we could do the mansion thing that weekend. But that also puts a constraint on Christmas shopping. Because now I would have to, I would have to buy everything this coming weekend. I I could do the mansions without her, but then I would feel really guilty. Cause I think it's something that she would really like. This is getting difficult okay I took a minute to <laughs> to look over um some of the activities that I was looking into doing and I kind of don't know what to do now so the mystic aquarium thing I thought it was during regular like regular park hours but it turns out it's not so so yeah that kind of stinks I don't know what I want to do about that now so I'm not going to go there if it's not going to include like the Christmassy stuff. What the heck? You know what I mean, y'all? Why am I having trouble? <laughs> so I have a lot of figuring out to do. I feel like I should have figured all of this out before I sat down to record and plan with y'all. But this is, this is generally how my life has been. Like not having things planned out in advance, being all over the place um disorganized and kind of disheveled like that's literally how things have been the last two months like ever since I got home from Disney that has been my life so it's just been kind of hard it's just been kind of hard to navigate stuff I don't know if it's like an overwhelming burnt out stress thing. I don't know if I really have a problem and I need meds. I genuinely don't know. But yeah, I'm going to add, I'm going to put this here. I think this is what I'm going to do. That. Just on those two and then go across the rest of these since they're not the dates for anything. And then Friday is the first, so like that's where it stops. Wait, why is that really crooked? Okay, it's a little bit better. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put, maybe I'll put three here. And then like, I kinda wanna do one like in the middle here. I could just do, or I could just do one box here. What do you guys think? Like that? 
I can always add more later if I want to. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a box for, for Sunday to go to the mansions. Because I really don't want to do it here. <coughs> Although that's going to be such a busy weekend. Oh my God, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, so not even going to lie, literally spent an hour sitting here going through my iPad, trying to figure out what the heck is going on this month. And I'm really actually kind of frustrated. I, you guys, this is another reason why I'm just over Rhode Island. Like I get that we have the seasons. I get that it's really pretty with the snow, but it is freaking freezing. People are not patient. They're grumpy. Um, and there's just not a lot of holiday cheer around here anymore, unless you live in small towns that are touristy like Newport and Bristol and down near the beaches or like in a town that has things going on all of the time, like Providence, it's not, it's not ideal. One, because my daughter's at her dad's every other weekend. Two, I have little kids. And three, for on a budget. Like, there is not a lot of free things to do. And then the other problem I kept running into is everything was on the same weekend. <laughs> the weekend of the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Now, my daughter is home that weekend, but we have her party. We're supposed to be going and having like a little dinner and getting her ear pierced Friday night. So, like, it's just... I, I don't know what to do. There's like practically nothing going on the 16th to 17th to do with the twins. And then this weekend is Christmas Eve weekend. And I don't plan on having any plans that weekend except for like movie nights and things like that. So I just, I'm frustrated. I'm really frustrated. I'm bummed. There were a few things that I really wanted to do that were this weekend that my daughter's not going to be home for, or they were really expensive. And I don't want to spend a ton of money doing those things. I did remember that I wanted to do something at Old Sturbridge Village. They're having like a candlelight thing where there's like a lit tree forest that you could walk through. The homes and the buildings are going to be decorated for the holidays. There's a, um, a lit up like horse-drawn carriage ride. They were going to have like old time uh, things that you could buy for like Christmas gifts and things like that. And I was looking forward to doing that with the twins because when we took them there during the summer, they really loved it. But that event is separate to the daytime of, to the daytime tickets. I thought it was like all one big thing and it turns out it's not. Um, so that would have cost us a ton of money to do that. We can get in the four of us for only $3 a person. So me, my husband and the twins and it would only be $12 for the four of us. And that's what I thought it was going to be. But that's just for regular daytime. And the website didn't say anything about them doing the daytime festivities. I mean, doing those types of Christmassy things during the daytime regular, you know, the regular hours. So I, I'm going to look into that a little bit more for this, this weekend. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So I just gave up. I said, this is all I'm getting. Uh, you can see I ended up going in and adding in all the sticky notes because my brain was complete a complete wash at that point. So I do have to go in and put all these boxes in. This is a, a plethora of activities going on, doctor's appointments, stuff for Skylar because she's in band and chorus. So it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could do New Hampshire on the weekend of the 16th and the 17th. But with it being so close to Christmas and money, I just don't know if it's going to be worth it at that point. Um, maybe my husband and I could get a sitter and we could just do it just the two of us. But again, it's just a lot. I, I don't know. I think this year has just been a complete wash at this point. And I'm kind of okay with just staying at home and, and, and doing nothing at this rate because I'm exhausted from trying to plan all this stuff and my brain just can't absorb anything else. So I am going to speed you guys up to some music while I go in and put down all of these boxes. <laughs>
Okay, so I went in and did all of my boxes. I did not do um, the pen yet because I kind of want to put in a couple of stickers before I do that. There's also um, something that I have to put in. I totally forgot about doing Christmas with my uh, mother-in-law. So I need to figure out what day I'm doing that so I can put another box in. So I'm actually going to pause you guys really quick so I can text her and then uh, hopefully she'll get back to me shortly while I'm still in the middle of doing this and I can add that sticker in. I know for sure that I want to add in this Merry Christmas sticker and the reason why I haven't, why I thought about doing my stickers, my decorative stickers before writing in the boxes is actually for layering purposes. So I, I think I might put this because I kind of want to put this here but then I can't write anywhere so I might just stick it over here because if I want to write things in certain spaces and also put a box here because I thought about putting a box here with this which I probably could do if I use like a long pink one or even green it really doesn't matter let me I, I need to message her <laughs> and then we will figure hopefully figure this out okay while we wait for her <laughs> to text me back um, let's focus on some other spots. So I think I want to hang, um, I really want to use the flowers, the corner flowers. It's just, they're really big. Maybe we won't use those. Maybe we'll stay clear of those. I want to hang the stockings and the ornaments. So I think what I might do there, I have room for ornaments here. I'm trying to see how I want to do this. I think that's kind of cute. And then maybe we can put like a little flower over there hmm why can't I plan today y'all my mind is just not uh, not with it whatsoever because I have these like presents too that would have looked really cute what the heck this book I wish the live love plush sticker books weren't so big I have no space for them like because that would have been cute too let's do this Yeah. We'll put the sticker here. And I think I'll put something else with it. This is huge. Let's see. That's okay. And then the Merry Christmas won't go there. And then we got to find spot for the Holly Jolly. But let's get our ornaments down. I want to try to use the big one. Let's see if oh, the big one is like an edge piece. Can we do it here? We can. The number four is going to get covered, but I think that might be okay. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm like seriously all over the place right now okay okay that's actually really cute and then let's get that holly jolly sticker and then another flower probably we're gonna stick this here so cute i'm just gonna take this other sticker and put it over here okay that looks really cute. I feel like I can probably write in maybe a couple of things. I want to get a sticker over here so I can write something over there. I don't know if I want to use the, um, do I want to do two sets of ornaments? Should I do another little one over here? Because there's a little one too. This one is cut out like around. I feel like this could be really cute. Right in the middle here. I kind of love that. And then I can put something right here, maybe a flower. Should we do a pink flower? I believe there is one. Or like a holly. I wanna I wonder if the pink will fit. If it doesn't, we can use the holly, but I feel like 
And then I think I'm gonna put presents down here. Will this fit or is it too big? I mean, it goes over a few things, but I kind of love them. I don't know, what would you guys do? Is that like too much? Because the other option is this. I'll show you guys this thing right here. Ah. Is this, which could be a little bit more simpler. This is the other option. I think I might like that a little bit better. I might be able to put this like down here. Just kind of cut off the page a little bit. I kind of like that. And then we'll just cut this extra off. Why? Why do I buy stickers? I mean scissors that don't work. Okay. So that is semi-cute. And then I feel like I could put another one like right here on this edge. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the one with the orange in it. Right around here. to kind of break up that space I think that that's really really cute and then we can get those presents do I want to put do I want to put those there I'm not sure I don't know if I want to use that there if I want to do the plant with the lights I feel like this is kind of cuter And then I can just cut off the extra. Yeah, I like that. I could probably get more gifts up here if I can somehow figure out how to get them to fit because they are kind of big. But maybe at this point I should go in and write in what I can. And then that'll free up a little bit of space. I think that's what I'm going to do at this point. I can definitely fit something else in these spaces. I kind of want to put something here too. I'm probably running out of time, you guys. Um, my phone is has not been keeping charge, so I'm I was almost I think I was only at like 18% when I came back to start doing stickers. So what I'm going to do at this point is I am just going to go in and write everything that I can. And then I will come back and we can finish decorating it together. And I might come back a little bit later because I feel like I just need to step away from this and come back because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed at this point. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. And I'm back two days later. I literally had a mental breakdown doing this spread. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been fun. So I'm coming back feeling a little bit refreshed, talked to a couple of my friends last night and today, and I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm just feeling like I need to keep looking forward. Um, I had a really tough last, I had a really tough night last night uh, with my daughter, and things, I, I just, <sighs> I need to woosa, and that's what I'm doing. And also, I realized I really need to get this done. I'm lost without this being completed. So close to December. It is now the twins' birthday, November 29th. And hopefully, I can still get this up to you guys, um, either tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday. Um, I do need to add another box in here and here. So I'm just going to go back into here and I think we'll do a green one over here. And I don't know. I think I'm going to do another pink one on that one. So we're just going to put this one here for that. Um, I also need one for New Year's Eve. I'll probably just do a little one, a little pink one there. Um, Hopefully I have some more. Okay, I have one more little pink one for New Year's Eve. I'm just gonna 
I wonder, hold on, can I go like this? I feel like I can. Kind of funky, but why not? And then I am going to, what did I say? Oh, right here. We'll do another pink one. I think we need more pink. I wonder if I have another squared pink one. I don't know if I do. I might have used it. Nope, I've got another one. Perfect. Okay, so we'll use this squared one here. Fantastic. All right, and I'm gonna go in and write these in. Um, I do, I'm debating on putting a pink one over here as well. Either that or I might do a quote of some kind. But I'm going to go and write these other things in really quick and I will come back. Okay, I am going to color these in while I talk to you guys for a minute. Look at this chaos. I don't know if you guys can see all the sticky notes that I've moved off of the spread to in front of me. But holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. And it's all in like, I feel like it's all in the beginning of the month and then like towards the like break and Christmas it dies down but that's only because I try not to plan things super close to Christmas because I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff at home like cooking and cleaning and wrapping gifts and uh, doing vlogmas week and all that stuff so so yeah um, obviously like some of the things that we do like I'll probably do um, a days of my life video for one of the activities uh, maybe I'll even do like a compilation days of my life vlog I don't know yet for vlogmas week we'll see i don't know um but yeah like i can't believe how much stuff is actually going on like between trying to do fun stuff with the kids doctor's appointments all that crazy stuff i should have done that in teal but that's okay so yeah all right i think i might add a little bit more washi tape in this area we'll see I want to do I think I might want to do like a quote here oh today so yeah today is the boys um seventh birthday they turned seven today and can you guys believe it but ready drum roll I can't do that very good uh it makes me think of Chevy Chase and the Christmas um National National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation but drum roll we booked a Disney trip and I am telling, uh, we are telling the kids tonight, we thought it would be a really fun um, announcement to make, not only on the kids' birthday, on the twins' birthday, but because of the gift we got them, uh, we got them lounge flies. Don't worry, by the time you guys see this, all this will be over and done with. Um, but yeah, we got them their very first lounge fly for their gift this year. And I can't wait to see their reaction tonight. But I kind of figured, you know, that's a pretty cool announcement to make you know, after we give them their gift. So uh, it's just a short little trip. And we have a friend of the kids that owns DVC Points. And she offered to, um, she offered to book us a short trip with her leftover points at a really, really, really good discounted rate. So DVC Points are typically like price per point. Like if you go through David's, or um, total DVC sites like that. They're usually somewhere between 19, I want to say like 19 and 22 a point. It kind of just, it just depends on what dates you go. Um, so this is Christmas. I thought about putting another box here, a green one, and then putting this with it. And we got them for $12 a point, y'all. And she's letting us pay over time. She only asked for like, she only asked for like a super small deposit and I'm just like super grateful. And now we can take our time figuring out how we're going to get down there, how many um, days we want for the parks. If we just want to do a one day hopper or a two day hopper, um, if we can afford to do payments for flying this time, or if we want to drive again. We can, um, we have, it's good because the trip is actually from Tuesday to Friday. So if we were to decide to drive again and stay overnight, I can plan it out so much better now. So like we can book hotel stays for both on the way down and on the way back home. 
and we can leave like we'll have like a bracket of time frame where we can we will have a lot of more wiggle room to drive so like because we don't have to be there till Tuesday we could leave Monday early in the morning and then that'll give us plenty of time to get to our first stop spend the night and then on the way home it'll be a Friday and we don't have to rush because we'll have all day Saturday, all day Sunday. That's that's kind of the one good thing about not booking a flight because booking a flight on Friday is going to be so crappy. <laughs> I want to shoot for a nighttime flight so we have a full day on Friday again. Um, that's what I'm hoping for, but it does make it a little bit more tricky, but we could you know, have a full day, leave whenever we want at night, like even if we wanted to eat dinner there and then only drive a few hours, like till 10 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock and then sleep and take our time driving home the next day. You know what I mean? So it's just a lot more wiggle room when you're, when you're driving. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do something like this and I'm just going to cover the 26 and I can just write the 26 in over here. I'm going to kind of just go like this. This is really cute. And then I can put like what our plans are. I love that. That filled up that space perfectly. Now let's try and see. I don't, honestly, I don't know if I have any other quotes because I've used, yeah, I've used all three of them. That's all that's in here. I wonder if I have, I could do more ornaments, like hanging them here. I could just do like a collage because I don't use, what did I do for the previous month? Let me see something. Because I feel like, did I put a, a section into journal and then never journaled? I got to look at my planner more, guys. I need to check it more often. Oh, what did I do? Ooh, fun. Um, okay, I did a grateful for list um, and a thankful for note. I kind of like that. I kind of like that idea. Let's get a long pink one. I don't know where I could put that other box one here I might be able to fit it right but then we've got green and green I guess it really isn't going to matter at this point I can just kind of offset it and then maybe put something pink here um, does that look ridiculous, y'all? I feel like I need to find like a teal color. I don't even know if if I have that, if that like exists. Hold on. This one does have some blues, but not that teal. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of, <laughs> it's not as dark as it should be. I wonder if I have, I know I'm like all over the place, y'all. I always check in this one, but I don't think there's, oh, wait, wait, wait a second, guys, I found one. Oh, sugar loafs, <laughs> dropping stuff. Can we do a bigger one? I wonder if I should move this flower down. Actually, that's kind of cute. I got to add one over here now. Just so that color is over there. Hmm. I guess I should just do this little one. Do I have anything else going on that I can add this to? Maybe I'll just do this. That brings that color over. Perfect. Okay, now we can finish with our little decor. So I'm gonna speed you guys up while I finish doing the fun deco and then I'll come back and we will wrap this up.
done and this came out so cute i'm not really sure how i feel about this washi tape i actually might end up just pulling it off i think it might be a little bit too much but other than that i really like how this came out i am sorry that this video and this plan with me was all over the place um, you can see December is insane. There's a lot of doctor's appointments mixed in with the regular stuff. Um, Wyatt and Skylar just have a lot of doctor's appointments this week. Um, and then we've got Skylar's birthday and um, Hanukkah and Christmas. It's just a, it's just a lot going on. <laughs> and then Skylar has a couple of concerts as well this month. It's just a lot of a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. So, I think I'm hoping you guys can kind of see now why I might have been so overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys like this plan with me. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the video. I would love it if you joined my Planny fam by hitting that subscribe button down below. Don't forget the bell notification too, as that always helps um, push this channel and notifies you every time I upload a new video. All right, you guys, until the next one, happy planning and stay magical. Bye.